Hello, this is Mike Hansen with GS Solutions and we're here to talk about the IBM Flex solution and the hardware components. I want to start out with uh, looking at the, the chassis view. Um, there's a 10U chassis. Um, we have a number of uh, options. It's a highly flexible solution. So um, following along, we have a, um, 14, uh, 14 nodes that are capable. Some are half wide capable, as you can see here with this Intel node, uh, which can hold up to 24 cores of Intel processing, or we can go into a full wide node here um, on an X, uh, x86 node or a power node that can hold up to 32 cores. As you can see here with the IBM Flex system that we have uh, uh, the benefit of storage integrating right into the chassis with the IBM V7000. So what we're gonna do now as we see in a front view is we're going to flip this around and we're going to see the back view of the chassis. All right, so now we've turned this rack around and we can see the back side of the flex system. We can see here we have our, our power, uh, redundant power supplies, both uh, there's six redundant power supplies. We see we have redundant fan uh, for, for our cooling as well as our redundant management in our chassis management modules. And then we have uh, four bays here uh, four I.O. bays for our switching mechanisms. Starting here on the left, we can see we have hot swappable power units. And I can pull these out and slide them back in, as well as the fans. The fan modules slide back in and out. Um, and then if I look at my, uh, on the right side here, the chassis management modules are redundant. Here we have the switching, which we have four switch bays in the back of the chassis, and we can handle both Ethernet and fiber channel. So this is a hardware overview of the IBM Flex system. If you'd like to learn more, you can contact us at www.gssolutions.com.